Happy Tuesday! I just feel like this is really far. We were debating on if it is. I just feel very far away from you and the table. <laughs> I'm back. How are you guys doing on this rainy Tuesday here where we are at? Mm -hmm. um, How was your eclipse viewing? Yeah. We didn't see it. so I did not either. It was, Lauren was in Knoxville, but here in Talbot, me and Sadie were the only ones here in Brooks, and we didn't see it. No. Couldn't uh, see anything. We went outside and um, did not see it because there was so much cloud cover. But honestly, thank God for TikTok because I got to see it on TikTok, and it was really cool, and I was well, so I mean, jealous. Well, I mean, I got to see it last time. Yeah, me too. I did get it. it was, we had a whole thing It was thing amazing last time. last time. Yeah. So, anyway, super cool. Um, hope you guys got to watch that or take a moment of your day. I feel like I feel like me and Trey were talking about how this sounds a little hippy woo woo, but we were like the energy was different yesterday. It was like though. just in general. I feel with like it was. I think so too. Anyways, we blamed it on the eclipse. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Hope you guys are excited for this the project. This project is. So I feel like I personally have created a lot of reverse canvases in the past few months, but like mm. at the same time, none of them are on our channel. It's just a weird. It's been because I created there's the, projects that do that. Right. See, I created that first one. Yeah. And it ended up not. We ended up not doing it yes. for Christmas, and then we did a sim. We did one a reverse canvas for something else. We summit. Summit. Was it? Yearly Summit. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then now we're doing this one. Yes. But, like but they this don't... one is for you guys, for everybody. Right. And so this is what we call a reverse canvas. If you guys haven't heard of that before, then we're about to blow your mind. Mm -hmm. I have personally had never heard of them. And Tanner and Courtney were like, wait, have you not heard of it? Because I did canvas painting forever. I just never heard of it. I didn't even know what it was. Now, I mean, month, this was like last year. Right. Um, so you guys are going to really love this. And we're using HTV on Canvas, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. And we're using a quote from A Court of Thorns and Roses. Because it's my favorite series. Yes. I started it this weekend. I'm, I'm, all, I'm not invested. Lauren, on the other hand, all the way invested. I've been invested for years. Like, yeah waiting on books to come out kind of situation so like everybody's jumping on the bandwagon now which mm -hmm. i'm all about because it is you can I, talk about I, it I with truly, people yes i truly love the series um but it has been one of my favorite series for god i couldn't even tell you how, how long has it even been out um the first one came i started reading it after the second book came out. Okay. So the first one was out and the second one was out when I started, but I don't remember what year mm. it was. Well, listen, I oh, am a, ban a bandwagon reader because mm -hmm. I don't like to read books I can't discuss. So if I read something, everybody else better be reading it too. <laughs> I mean, I, it's, it's the same way with like shows. Like if I watch a show, someone else needs to come watch it with me. Like I need to tell you about it so you go watch it so we can talk about it for like an hour. I agree. Like, I just need that in my life, you know? There's nothing better when you watch a show with someone. My favorite thing is watching a show with someone and then being able to pause and discuss while you're, <laughs> Open like, discussion. Yeah, open discussion while we're watching the show. Yes. Specifically, I did that with Love is Blonde. Oh, yeah. But it was also, like, therapy. I'm like, I would talk it out and be like, but I, I see where they're coming from, but, like, I don't agree. And, like, this is why I don't agree. You know yes. what I mean? It was kind of like therapy. Essay. Yeah. I love it. Listen, Love is Blind this season was really good. Yeah. Anyways. Anyway. Um, so, yeah. Uh, what? Anyways, we kind of got on a tangent there. I know. So, if you want to, one thing I do want to talk about before we head over, and then we're going to head over and go over supplies and everything that you're going to need. Mm -hmm. If you want to recreate this canvas and you do not have our membership, everything that we're going to be doing cut files wise is part of our membership. And if you are not part of it and you want to jump in, you can do so for one doll hair right $1. now. One dollar. One single doll hair. And you can get 20 downloads, unlimited access to our website for seven days, meaning no holds bar, you get it all. You can choose what downloads you want, 20 fonts, 20 files, mix and match. You figure out what you want. Um, 
which brings it down to five cents a download. Um, you can cancel anytime within that seven days, or if you get in there and you're like, man, like I really like this website. I really yeah. like what they've got to offer, which I think you will. You, uh, If you don't cancel after those seven days, you just become a monthly member. And then you get access to every single cut file and font that we have, plus commercial use access license to use those to sell your projects. Yeah, you can't beat it. For a dollar, I mean, come on. You can at least do it for seven days. So. Yeah. Um, <coughs> Crafty Needleworks, or Tara, I saw that you changed your screen name, by the way. That's Tara. Mm -hmm. Tara O. She's now Crafty Needleworks. Mm. Um, I need to see your Etsy shop. I want to see it. It's on Etsy. I've looked at it. Have you? Yes. Oh. I'll show it to you for the love. I'm a bad friend. I haven't looked at it. Yeah, Anyways, you are a bad friend. I made this. I made this yesterday. I bought this shirt on Amazon. This it logo. it feels amazing. Yeah. This, First of all, the shirt is to die for. It's cotton and spandex. And then this is lavender puff funnel that literally matches to a T on mm -hmm. accident. I did not plan it. Um, but It looks super cool in person. It does. I feel like you can kind of barely see it on the camera, but it looks super cool in person. Yeah. I just think I love the monocle chromatic and you can use the logo from our like we have the file and when you're a member so you can like put this on a shirt if you wanted to for yourself mm -hmm. so anyways um should we just like get into it let's do it okay okay let's do it lauren so, is making a sister canvas by the way today yes, with the matching so quote i'm going to be making a sister canvas meaning this canvas that we have on here is to the people who look at the stars and wish and then I'm going to make the sister canvas that says, to the stars, what, let me think of the oh, exact quote. It's beautiful. To the stars, I'll have to look it up. I'm but looking it up To for the you. stars and dreams that come true, I think. To the people who look at the stars. And wish. And then the second, the sister quote should be, to the stars and, to the stars who listen, to the stars who listen and the dreams that happen, I think. Okay, hold To on. the stars that listen, I know for a fact. And then there's a dash. Um, and the to dream. the people who look at the stars and wish, to the stars who listen and the dreams that are answered. Dreams that are answered. I couldn't remember if it was happened or answered. Okay. So, we are going to be creating this beautiful canvas. Let's go overhead. And what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to take this moon and put it on the top half of the canvas <gasps> and the words on the bottom. So when they sit next to each other, it's opposite. Iconic. Yes. Iconic. Yes. It's going to be so cute. I love it. Yes. I love a coordinating canvas moment. I do too. Um, with that being said, should we use the same colors? No. No? I feel like you should use the warm colors. These are, that we've got on the table? Don't you? If you want, we don't have uh, any more navy, by the way. That's why we... Okay. Oh, wait, there's navy right there. This is navy. Is that the color? This is more like a gray, bluey gray, but it's okay. We'll just use this. Okay. It'll, be, it'll be beautiful. Okay. So we are doing a reverse canvas. So obviously you are going to need a canvas. Now, um, the quotes and came from A Court of Thorn and Roses, um, one of my favorite series. Um, it actually came from A Court of uh, Mist and Fury, I'm pretty sure is the book that that one come from. Mm -hmm. That's like, that is third book? I have to think. Anyway. No, I don't even know. Anyway. So the supplies that you are going to need is the a canvas, obviously. We have a canvas here. Now, we you can recreate this with a Dollar Tree canvas. I'm just going to be completely honest. We could not find canvases at our Dollar Tree right now. I don't know why. They didn't have the ones with the thick border, and that's the ones that we were going to use. Yeah. They have them. It's They're like there. we had one. Ours. We had one from them, but then because we create these, create a thumbnail, and then recreate it with you, we were going to have to use a second one, so we could not find the second one. So, um, just so you guys know, you can recreate them from the ones at Dollar Tree. Like I said, we couldn't personally find them at our Dollar Tree, and you can't order online in smaller quantities anymore. Unfortunately. Or not right now, at least. So, we're actually using one from Hobby Lobby. I know for a fact that you can get these um, in a two-pack, for like less than $10. I know for a fact you can get these, and these are a pretty big canvas. If I'm not mistaken, this is a nine by 13, I think. It looks like a nine by 13. Let's double check. Oh, it's even bigger. Nice. Looks like a 12 by 16. Karen, we're talking about a Court of Thorns and Roses series. Yes, yes. So, obviously we'll go back overhead. 
you're going to need your canvas. You're going to need heat transfer vinyl, okay? And this is what we are going to be putting this on with. So you do need heat transfer vinyl. You are going to need some stain. Today we are using this aged wheat stain. Um, of course, we have gloves for our stain. We are going to be using, now these tools are going to be, you choose what you think is going to work best. There's a couple different ways that you can take the canvases off the frame and re-stretch them. Um, I personally normally take the, and I'll show you, we'll flip it over. You can see there's lots and lots of staples. If you want to, you can just cut this out or you can take some tools and you can kind of pry these staples up and then take them out with needle nose pliers, whichever one you want. If you want to cut it, you will need a true control knife just to cut around the edges. Um, that's going to be totally your preference. And then, of course, we do have a staple gun um, to staple our canvas back in there. And I'm checking right now to see if we need any staples. Nope, we're good. So we do have a staple gun to staple our canvas back onto our frame once we get it off. And then we have a, just a standard, standard grip mat for our HTV. Not that standard. That's not that standard, but. Donna literally took the words, the thoughts out of my brain. She said, um, that's a lighter stain than you normally use. It's because Mary Catherine brought that stain in here. I know. But me and Lauren always pick early American. We always pick early but American. it's nice, like, to have some variation. Like, I mm -hmm. appreciate the variation. Yep. Um, so, and then, of course, we have a mini easy press that we're going to be using to put the HTV on to the canvas. So it looks like there's a lot, but guys, these are things that you probably already have sitting around your house. Other than the canvas, um, you may not have the canvas, but other than that, these are all things that you can just do with what you have. So let's start out. First of all, the first thing I wanna do is I wanna start out by taking our canvas off of our frame and showing you guys how to do that. That way we can go ahead and stain our frame. So by the time that we're done, it should be dry and we can go ahead and reassemble everything, okay? So, we'll go back overhead and we're gonna start the process. So, there's a couple different ways that you can do this and I want to show you these different ways. So, I have right here a really small flathead screwdriver. This is just what we have. I keep it in my drawer. I use it for so many different things. And really, what I'm going to do is just kind of pry this up just enough where you can come back in with a set of like needle nose pliers and pull it up. So you can do that. Here you can see once you have it up, I just come in with a set of needle nose pliers and take it out. Now the reason that I do it this way or I have done it this way in the past is because I feel like I get a better stretch on my canvas if there's nothing there obscuring. So like if you cut it, this is going to be there. It, it really, it's just a personal preference. So if you want to, once again, this does take longer prying them up like this. So what we may do is I, just so you all have both options. Let me, there we go. Turn that around. So if you want to, you can cut it. And if you plan on cutting your canvas, Grab you a true control knife and just cut on the outside. Oh, I was like, what is that? Cut <laughs> on the outside of the staples. So you can see here now, you do have to cut pretty deep. One thing I want you to you all to not worry about, don't worry about ruining this side of the canvas because we're not, that's, this is now going to be the back of the canvas once we get done. So I'm just going to cut all the way around on the outside, okay, outside of the staples. And that's a nice, sharp, exacto knife. It should be. I think so. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Kelly says, my favorite screwdriver is the butter knife. Yes, yes. That's oh a really gosh. good screwdriver. Love that one. Listen, whatever works, you know. Used it more than once. 
Leanne, we're so happy you're here. She said she's so thrilled she can attend live today. Yay. Okay, once you have your canvas cut, all you're gonna have to do then is come through here and we are just going to separate it away from our frame. Beautiful. Now here you can see I have this. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this side of the canvas and I'm just gonna rip it up and leave those staples in there. Oh my gosh, Michelle just reminded me of something. Only one Dollar Tree in New Jersey is closing. Not sure about the other Dollar Generals though. But listen, I saw an article that said Dollar Tree is closing. They're like closing some of their stores. Well, I did read that article and I think what they're doing is they are probably just downsizing. So like, for example, we have two Dollar Trees in our town. One on the west end, one on this end. And one in the middle of town. Oh wait. The other one is in Jeff, Jeff City. Yeah. yeah. So there's two in our town. So I have a feeling that there's a good chance that they're just going to close locations that aren't as profitable. Like the one in the middle of town probably doesn't get as many people as the one on this side. I don't know. I don't know though. That's right. just, that is literally just my speculation. I hope they don't close any of ours. I like having options. Same. Same. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to prep my area to get it ready to stain. I like to lay down some paper towels just to be on the safe side, guys. You never know. This, this uh, table has already seen enough destruction. We don't need to destroy it even more. Ugh, don't I'm, get stain on your sweatshirt. I know. God, this is making me nervous now. <sighs> making me nervous. You need an apron. Is all. I know. Let me just go ahead and pull my sleeves up. Sleeves. <laughs> and we're going to start staining. Now, Mary Catherine has a brush out here. I normally, personally, don't use a brush. Um, I normally use um, a, uh, a cloth. An old t shirt. I cut a piece of an old t shirt off and use. Oh, this is a. I don't think I've ever used this stain. I don't think I have either. It's like a, oh, look at this. Oh. It looks like a paint. It's gonna look like that one though. I mean, it's beautiful, don't get me wrong. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep some paper towels handy to wipe it off with. Yeah. So I'm putting my gloves on. It said, somebody said, the last thing I read said that most of the stores are being closed are going to be a family dollar. That is interesting that you say that, Sandy, because there is another, there's a store going up in the town, and it's across from Cherokee. It's a, it's family dollar and Dollar Tree together. Ah. Same store. Interesting. Yes. Yes. Maybe they'll call it family tree. Family tree, I don't know. No, it's <laughs> it's like a, um, it is like the, you know how they used to have Long John Silvers and A&W in the same building? It's very much similar to that. Is there a defined threshold? I don't know. I have no clue. Remember when our Walmart used to be connected to our mall? Oh, I was literally just talking about that to somebody. I miss those days. <laughs> I hardly I remember I miss it. going to the mall because our Walmart used to be connected to our mall. I miss going to Walmart when it was connected to the... Okay. Oh. Okay. You said it's supposed to look like that? I, I'm assuming. I'm assuming that. Is it dark? Yep. I can't hardly see it. Oh, it's like a gray. Yeah. Let's commit. Do you want me to get some different HTV colors? It's okay. I can get some complimentary. That's not going to look good with that. Maybe You I'm, want a darker stain? Maybe I'm using too much on... Maybe I should have used, do you think she used the, let's try this. Oh, nope, it's still pretty dark. Huh. I've never used a brush for stain. 
I don't know that I have either. But it's not a bad. No. Like you, because you can apply it with the brush and then wipe it off with a paper towel or a rag. Right. Or something. Okay. So it's it's okay. It's it's getting there. It's getting there. Anne said, "You know what happens when you assume." <laughs> I know, guys. We know, Anne. We, we know. know. Okay. So anyway, back to what I was saying. First of all, I was obsessed with Walmart being in. <gasps> okay, hold on. Hold. <laughs> <laughs> Computer fell. Okay, here. <laughs> Did the whole thing come out? Ugh. We're just gonna like, hold on, I'm gonna bring it all the way up here. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to be on myself. <laughs> Stop it. That smells well. We needed a new tabletop anyway, so it might be just happening a lot sooner. Oop. This needs to go on the blooper reel, guys. This is the blooper reel we were talking about. Good gravy. Uh, you Dang right, good gravy. Okay, here, I'm gonna sit okay. out there and get, and some, get wet. some more. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get some wet paper towels. I did not get it on my shirt. You're right. I'm actually impressed by that. And here I was. I protected my work surface, guys. <laughs> really protected it. It did nothing. It did nothing. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Tanner's going to kill me. We'll just get some, like, revving out. I'm about to just throw this away. All right. Well, we gotta finish painting your frame. Oh yeah. Okay. Here, sit it on. Sit it on that. Sorry, my big head's in front of the camera. Somebody said, "Good news, we can finally see your white projects that you can't see." On <laughs> <laughs> we tipped over some stain. Mary Catherine's checking on us because we're yeah. making a rim. Mm -hmm. We're being rambunctious. We're being absolutely rambunctious. Can you bring me some more paper towels, please? You want them wet or dry? I just want something to try to get this stain off of here. Oh, gosh, guys. We can get the stain off after the live stream. Well, that's fine, but I still need something to... Uh, you ran out. Yeah, I ran out of paper towels. Here. Okay. That's... Uh, it's one way to do it. One way to do it, guys. Do you guys remember Summit last year? Tanner dumped an entire jar of polycrylic all over the table. Well, so far, I have ruined the tabletop. There's caught the, um, caught, <laughs> caught the room on fire, um, and broke a glass. <laughs> you are on a roll this year, honestly. I though. am. I am. Jan said a little late, but made it. Well, Jan, you just missed it. <laughs> you just missed it. Oh goodness, I can't, I literally can't get my hair out of my face <laughs> right now. It's stuck to your lip. I know it's stuck. Come here and I'll fix this. It's, I'll, it's fine. I'll leave it stuck to my lip gloss and I'll finish for you guys. <laughs> <clears throat> Alrighty then. Oh man. I'll go ahead and tell you this. Today is going to be a margarita day after work. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said, this is why I use acrylic pa the acrylic paint stain hack. Amen. Yeah. yeah you amen would. and amen. It can still get messy. I mean, crafting is going to get messy anyways. Y'all know how it is. Okay, so, well. Kelly said she saw two out of your three mistakes. Well, it was because the third. Was um, not on camera. Was or not it was on not It was released to the yeah. public. It was on, it's on my TikTok though. Is it? Yeah, I put it on my TikTok. That is so I got funny. like 66,000 views on it. What? Yeah. That's so funny. Wait, are we influencers? I don't know. Influence somebody to burn, a, burn their studio down? Sure. Yeah. I mean, that's so funny. Well, here we go. Um, I about took down my entire computer with the table. Also trying you, to rescue you. Did. You almost I did. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now I'm like afraid to like even get up close to this table. I know I wouldn't touch it. I wouldn't graze it. This stain can just go somewhere that I don't see it ever again. 
Come on, Daisy says margarita drink sounds so good. Sin's going to watch your TikTok right now. You guys think we're influencers. Wait, Kim said we influence her all the time. And Karen says, yes, you are influencers. Well, speaking of influencing, I've been working on my diet lately. And if you guys are needing to be on a diet and workout plan, I know a guy. I'm just saying. He's, he's good. He's good. He's good. I posted a picture of my lunch yesterday and everybody was like, who are you going to? Da, 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 da. And I was like, listen, I'll send you his info. He'll hook you up. Um, I'm not even, I've not even got a chance to read comments, so sorry guys. It's okay, I'm here. I'm literally just trying to get through this stain because I want to put the lid on it and I want to put it away. Yes. So Donna says, I buy the huge brown rolls of carpenter paper from Lowe's and I start each painter stain project by cutting a big old section to go under my work, but I'm messy. I'm messy too. I'm a messy crafter. Period. See, the thing is, is normally I don't have to put anything down for these. Like I just, when I'm not on a live... I don't, I, I'm not that, it's not that bad. But yeah. I'm telling you all, it's like as soon as the cameras turn on, I don't know. It's just different. Can you agree? Can you attest? In like clumsiness factor? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably. It's definitely different when you're craft, mainly because, especially with live streams, like y'all got to understand, like we try to fit everything in like an hour. Yeah. It, or like an hour and a half. And so... Like when we prep these projects, like certain parts have to be done already. And there's certain things that you have to like think through before you teach it. Cause like you only have an allotted amount of time. So I think like you just start getting like, you know, we don't get nervous. I don't get nervous. I'm not nervous. No, not that. It's, it's just, just like the trying speed. to think of everything. Right, 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 right. And also trying not to ruin my clothes. Mm -hmm. That's it's another, another factor. factor. <laughs> it's another huge factor. Okay, well, it's done. Do I like it? No. I don't hate it. I Is think it'll look better once it'll come. It'll, it's fine. It's not fine, and that's okay that you said that. It's not <laughs> fine. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I probably should have sanded it, number one. It's possible. And I should have just told you to get early American. This is why we... <laughs> This is why we use Early American all the time. So, yeah. We're is, committed to Early American. This is why we use Early American. I'm going to sit this to the side. Oh, not going to do <laughs> <laughs> Oh, y'all. Okay. Oh, man. I'm going to okay. sit this in the floor. <laughs> Just, Away from me. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's so And funny. I can't even clean this up anymore. That's terrible. Oh. And um, I love it. <laughs> I like that you top. tried to lean that against the ease. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now my hair is out of my face. My face is red. I just, you should have seen it never this morning. that color, you're right. I didn't. Lauren and was, forgot her makeup this morning and she was like, oh, let me use Alicia's makeup. As if we're not literally different, like ethnicities and skin tone. And she puts on this blush and it's like powdered blush or uh, liquid blush. And it looked like she had been sunburned all the way right here. She's like, I'm just going to go home and get it. She went all the way home to get her makeup. I was like, I'm so sorry. No, know. it's not your fault. It's my fault for leaving my makeup. Okay, I gotta stop obsessing over this table. Yeah, right Lauren, now. do not have a fixate on the messy table. It's okay. not fun. Okay. Let's get into the tutorial. Let's go to the, the tutorial. design space tutorial. portion. Tutorial. Um, first thing we're gonna do while this is turning on, I am gonna grab this frame, and you want to measure the inside of this frame really quickly to get the dimensions. So I know I said it was like it was a 12 by what did I say, a 12 by 16? Mm -hmm. But we want to work within, so this is nine and three quarters. I can go ahead and make it nine and three quarters by, let's do 13 and three quarters. That's the area that you want to work in. Why is the computer not working? <sighs> you guys know how, at the beginning of the live, we said there's always those projects this is what happens. And you can't pick it, the universe picks it. Okay, the universe picks the projects that just try to not be on the channel. We've had like two or three since I've been here. This is one of them. And this is what happens. Okay, okay. The computer's not turning on. How can we reset the computer? I don't know. Let's see. Please hold. Please hold, what are you guys doing today? <laughs> How are you doing? 
I guess they are. Uh, what the F it, says, keep a makeup bag in your desk with essentials. I keep a small bag in my, in my car. Yeah, you know what? I should do that. I sh normally, normally, I'll tell you guys, through, during the week, my makeup normally stays here. And I think that's why is because it's Tuesday and it's not a, it's not a Monday. And I thought, oh, my makeup's at home or my makeup's at the office because it's Tuesday. But you weren't here. But I didn't work yesterday. So. I'm trying to turn this off and back on. Is it doing anything for you on the screen? Uh, no signal. That's what it says on the screen. The eclipse threw everything off. Yep. I told you the energy's weird. Would you wear an apron? I probably should. We always say we should. But then it's just like, it's also one of those things like at more added clothes, like on top of this would make me suffocate. Yeah, because it's hot with the lights suffocate. on and stuff. Suffocate. Okay. Does anybody else have any questions? Um, at least you guys are entertained, honestly. I mean, someone told us to just get on with it in the comments earlier. Yeah, I'm trying to. And get I was on. like, we're we're trying. You guys, we're trying. Um, okay, here we go. Oh, it's working. And it looks different. Must have updated. Must have been the problem. <clears throat> cool, cool, cool. Love that for us, because the devil is playing with the church's money today. Is, uh, sometimes <laughs> don't do really well for us. Oh, okay. Mm, I'll write it in. Okay. What is this? Oh, that brought that image back from forever ago. Breezes Crust. First of all, that's a screen name. Says what? this is such relatable. Breezes Crust. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Says this is such relatable content. Thank you all. Deep breath. First breaths. of all, love the love the name. Mm -hmm. Breezes Crust. <laughs> 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 Okay. That's like us renaming my knockoff <laughs> Louis uh, Vuitton yes. bag. Okay, <laughs> so real quick before we, when I'm as I'm trying to find this, um, Alicia wanted to get a knockoff Louis Vuitton from what we like to call the fence. And if you, if it's like what I was, if you know, you know. Yeah. If you know, you know. From the fence. But instead of calling it a Louis Vuitton, we were calling it a shoey baton. A shoey baton. A shoey baton. My shoey baton that I paid $100 for never arrived. In case you guys were wondering, I got <laughs> scammed out of a shoey baton. You did. It's okay. You okay. You learn. We found it. We are going to build this together. So, the font that we're going to be using today is going to be, what just happened? <coughs> Are you kidding me? Okay, we're using Celine from Makers Gonna Learn, and this is Moon and Stars. It is a cut file. Now, it is different colors, as you guys can see. Beautiful. And you can see all of the different colors are different layers. So, we're going to hop back over to the Makers Gonna Learn website in just a minute I don't know what all of oh that was from let's go ahead and close from the master this. class if from you guys master, missed it yeah so we're going to hop over to our website are we signed in yes we are first thing we're going to do is we are going to grab the uh font celine first of all artful ink are you kidding me look at this new font i used it for um i am obsessed yeah i used it for something in the course today uh it is it is fully like is it neo class no it's the um it's neo traditional isn't it the traditional art or traditional tattoos yes american classic traditional american tattoo. traditional yeah american traditional class the that obsessed with it okay i love it Okay, Celine is the font we're using today. This one here, to download a font from our website, you're gonna click the arrow pointing down. It's going to come in as a zip file. You're gonna double click it. Here it pops up. You need to double click it. It comes in as an OTF. You need to double click that. Karen, you're so sweet. You keep that. Oh my goodness. I love. So you're gonna install the font, okay? From there, you do have to, once you install a new font, you do have to reload Cricut Design Space for it to un, like recognize the new fonts. But before we do that, I'm gonna come back over to our website and we're gonna go to our cut files and we are going to type in moon and stars. I love this image, first of all. Mm -hmm. And it can be used for so many different things. It speaks to my, like my Y2K heart for some reason. Yeah. 
It's like borderline. I just love it. Oh, Karen. Yeah, thanks. Appreciate that. <laughs> It'll go toward that. You need thing. drink money. She's like, I know what you need. Here, take it. <laughs> okay, so we're going to download this file. Once again, it comes in as a zip because you can use it. If you open up this folder, you see you have the option for a PNG and an SVG. Because we are doing, we are cutting this with HTV, we are going to need the SVG version. So we're going to hop back over to Design Space. Um, we're going to go to our upload folder. We're going to upload image. And then we are going to drag and drop this SVG into here. Boop. There you go. You're going to click continue and upload that to Cricut. And you can see here, it comes in, it actually comes in almost the perfect size for what we're doing, but I'm gonna show you guys how to really um, place it where you want it. Now, for the font Celine, if you have not used it on your computer yet, and you need for Cricut to recognize it, what you can do is go to view and reload design space and that is going to pull in all of the new fonts that you've downloaded. Now we all actually already have Celine on this so I'm not going to go through that whole process right now but that's what you would do if you are wanting to re-download, okay? So next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull in our shape. If you remember I took a measurement of the inside of our frame a while ago and it was, we're going to unlock our square, it was nine and three quarters by 13 and three quarters. And this is going to be the size of our, at the canvas that we're working on. So this is gonna help you determine how large or how small something can go. I always like going to advance and like changing it to the color that I need. And let's do this cream color right here. Beautiful. This and you is can be use the white or the cream side of that canvas, right? Um, you can use the white or cream. Because I personally like the cream side better if you're doing HTV, just because there's like a coating on this side. I was about side, to say it's I don't know coated. how well it would, the HTV would go on this. It'll stick. Yeah. I know it'll stick, but I just, um, yeah, I think I like that ivory side too. I really like the ivory side personally. And really you can use either one. But you can, you can mm -hmm. use the cream or you could use the white. Whichever one. So, anyway, Tanya said, what? I've been quitting Design Space and reopening whenever I download a new font. Yeah, so Tanya, we used to do the same thing too, but Alicia was the one that told us, just go to view and reload it. Oh, did I? Yes. Hmm. There you go. That was the very first thing you did when you first started. I remember it clearly. That's hilarious. I don't even remember yes. that. So, Who all you have it? to do is reload. You don't have to quit it and come back in because Trust me, we used to do the same thing. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this to the front. And if you guys didn't know what I just did, let me go overhead and show you something. So this is obviously a Mac um, an, or an Apple keyboard. But if you look, go to share screen. So if you go to a range, did you guys know that these little things over here on the side tells you what shortcut keys you need to click. And that is how I have tr personally leveled up my designing is by using shortcut keys. So back overhead to our keyboard, I always hit command and then either this one bracket or this bracket to bring it front to back. So the left bracket takes it back on your screen and the right bracket brings it front and then go to the share screen watch how the you can see it's in the very front now i'm hitting command and hitting the left bracket and watch it move down and then the right bracket brings it to the top i love that one of my favorite things yeah a hundred percent one of my favorite things okay so what we're going to do now is we are just going to start building our canvas so now i'm going to bring in the text we are using the font celine so we have to go to our system fonts Type in Celine right here. So our first one said to the people who look at the stars and wish, and this one is going to say to the stars that listen. 
and then I think it's this, and then it says, to the stars that listen and oh. the dreams that happen. Please hold. To the stars that to listen. To the people who look at the stars and wish. Uh-huh. To the stars who listen, dash, dash and the dreams, dreams that are answered. That are answered. I get I just know Sarah J. Mass was like, dang, that was good. She was like, I need to go, I need to go take a laugh. Like that was good. When she wrote that, she oh, was like, 100%. that is money quote right there. Money quote. Going on the merch for show. Sure. Yeah. Now, first of all, something about this doesn't feel right to me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to advanced and I'm going to ungroup this to lines. So now I can really move this around where I want it. And I think I need to, honestly, I think I need to size it down first. So I'm going to hold down either shift or command and select all of these. And I'm gonna size them all down together. That way they're all the same size font. Now what I can do is our first one had the moon down here in the bottom. So I want to select all of these and I want the words in the bottom, and I want the moon, I'm going to do it this way, I think. Do I want it that way, or do I want it? I don't know. We're gonna play around with it. Eh. That was a, we're gonna play around with it, okay? So just hold, please. I feel like it needs to be, I need, you need to put the bottom part at the top but still have it facing the same way. It's like fatter at the bottom of the moon and that's why I think it looks weird. What do you mean? So <clears throat> this bot this is fatter on this side, so it needs to be, what are you saying? Flip it both. Okay, now flip it again. Flip it uh, like horizontal ones and flip the vertical ones. And then flip it, I need it. Mm. That's back to where we were. Like that? Mm. That mm. side or that side? That side looks better to me, I think. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Well, we're going to play around with it. We're going to play around. Okay. But if you look, let's go overhead. This one is on this side, and I'm creating a sister canvas. So I want the moon to be in this corner. So that would be right. But now it's just placing my words where I want them. Mm-hmm. But I think this needs to be on a different line, and then we need to advance, ungroup to lines, to the stars that listen. Like kind of hug it in. Yeah, I think the needs to be on the same word as and. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type the here, take out the here, and the dreams that are answered and bring this down like this. <clears throat> scooch it more like that. Ugh, still don't, I still. It looks upside down. It looks upside down. The moon okay. looks like upside down. Okay, okay. So let's do this, and this. And then rotate it that way. Like that? I think. You, you feeling better about it? It's delayed for me. But from here, that looks better in my opinion. Okay, I like. Do you think so? I like. Okay. Okay, so now that we have kind of placed it where we want it, and that's the cool thing is, ungrouping to lines gives you the chance to really move things around because I didn't want everything to be like this. Like, I don't like how everything's straight on here. I like filling up space and moving like lines separate and staggering lines. And that's just a personal preference. It's just like fun for your eyes to read and follow, I think. Yeah, and I need to put a period there, okay? So we're leaving as is. Now what we need to do is we need to select all of our text here, because if we don't select it and we don't combine it, when we go to make it, it's all gonna be separate. So because we have ungrouped to lines, you can see here on the layers panel that they're all separate layers, okay? 
Now what we need to do is we need to bring them back together. Now that we have them exactly where they, they, we want them, we need to come down here to combine and unite them all back together. And now you can see they all come to one layer. So now we know once we send it to Design Space, it's going to be perfect. Mm -hmm. Also, I feel like, do we want it angled the same way like this, but just different sides? Well, somebody said you should just use stars. But we need to teach you guys how to layer this moon. That's the most important part of this tutorial, other than the reverse canvas. I feel like layering the different colors is like the key here. Okay. I so, like it down there better, personally. And you can like stagger them when you hang them. Yeah. You know? Like if you hung them up, just stagger them. Yeah. But like also looking at these two together, imagine a moon being in this corner, like the two bottom corners. Yeah. Okay, personal preference, guys. Exactly. Personal preference. You guys can make it however you want. This is how we're going to do it today. Um, Anne says, why not attach? What's the difference? Great question. Let me show you. So let's talk. Let's go back to where we united. Let's go ahead, undo unite, and let's attach them. So now we have attached them. We're going to go to make it. La da 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 da. Give it a second. Not there. Attach will do the same thing. So I just wanted to show you guys that attach will do the same thing, but I'm done with this, so I do like to just go ahead and combine it. I don't know. It's just, once again, <clears throat> it's a personal preference. Right. Whichever one you want to do. If you want to attach or if you want to combine, both of them works. Um, so either one. Now that we have it exactly where we want it, I no longer need the background, um, our tan color, so I'm going to delete that. And I'm actually going to come over here on, okay, design space. Why are we not moving? Oh, now it decided to There it to goes. Move. I'm going to go ahead and hide this, both of these, so that we can go ahead and cut. And I actually think... That was just a smidgen bigger. Beautiful. Okay, so now once we've done that, we are going to make it. Now I'm not attaching the moon to the words. And the reason being is because they're not gonna be cut out of the same, actually, we can cut the same. Let's go back. Because I do want to do, we're gonna hit the arrow down and the little stars these guys right here we are actually going to be that is going to be cut out of navy blue and the words are also going to be cut out of navy blue because that's what she's done on here okay so what we're going to do to help us keep it more centered is we are going to take the stars portion and with the shift key held down we are going to select the words and we are going to, you can either attach or combine, but we are going, are you kidding me? Oh, it was because it was grouped. Okay, first of all, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna ungroup these, okay? We're gonna ungroup, then with the stars and the words, we're going to attach. Now you see nothing changes, they're the same color, but once we go to the Make It screen, our words and our stars are going to be together, not that one, but you see how the words and the stars are going to be together so we can lay these down first and then layer our little gold stars and our swirly swirling dervishes, that's what I'm going to call them. Swirling dervishes. Yeah. I don't oh. know. No, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> now we're going to attach those all together. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mirror every single um, can't think, matte, mirror, because we're using HTV, changing it from 12 to 24 to 12 to 12. Literally hate that word, but okay. And mirroring everything. Beautiful. So, after we've done that, I'm going to cut the words and these stars out first, because that's going to be our first layer. So, we're going to go to continue. 
I'm going to move this out of the way, bring in our mats. Have y'all been noticing the layers panel is a little weird lately in design space or is it just me? It's been like hiding my layers. I don't want it to hide them unless I tell it to. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, so like if something's grouped together, it will, it won't show you all of the different groups. No. It gets them on Because you have to push that, the down arrow. Yeah, you gotta like go and click I it. I just want it to be how it always is. I just want to be able to see it, you know? I know, I know. Oh, there it is. First of all, let's move this bad boy out of the way. Okay, I'm just furnishing that down. Mm. We are going to be using Everyday Iron-On Cut Setting. Griff Moto says you are a star. Griff Moto is my husband. Griff Moto. Griff <laughs> Moto, you missed it earlier. <laughs> you Buddy, missed you? Lauren, really. Uh -huh. Really doing the dang thing. Mm -hmm. That's so funny. Doing it, doing it. Um, tomorrow's live stream, there's a new Cricut product out. Yep. So make sure you guys are there tomorrow. Same time. Same um, place. It'll be me and Mary Catherine probably. Uh, yeah. Tanner's out sicky. Tanner's and sicky, and I've got to take little man to a doctor's appointment. Yes. So. Yeah, Michaela, I think it is part of the new update, and it is purposeful in ways. I've just grown accustomed to being able to see all my layers, and only I want to hide my layers when I want to hide them. Yeah. Because I like to see what I'm working on and, like, what I've already... I like to see what I've put in my groups and what I've attached and all that. So, I guess it's just to each their own, you know? I think I'm gonna do the what's supposed to be the yellow, like shiny stars in this rose gold color. Yeah. And the yeah. swirly dirds. <laughs> that name. Okay, do you wanna know where I got the word swirling dervish? Yeah. Asher is obsessed and has a uh, paper airplane book, and we. Um, we do paper airplanes, and one of the paper airplanes is called a Swerving Dervish. <laughs> I'm gonna be. <laughs> I laugh too hard. <laughs> a Swirling <laughs> Dervish? D E R V I S H. Well, what are the names of some of the other ones then? Uh, the Classroom Classic. The I pencil. already know what that one looks <laughs> the like. The Pencil. Okay. Um, the Jolly Roger is one. The big mouth is another one. It literally, like, the paper airplane, you fold it, and it, like, opens up. It has, like, a mouth that opens up and okay. catches wind. If you were a it's paper really airplane, cool. what would your paper airplane name be? <sighs> hmm. I already have a name picked out for What's you. What's yours? Your, I already have one picked out for you. Oh. Uh, it's, I would call it the rootin' and tootin'. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was going to be, uh, uh, hmm. The wild woman wing The man. chaotic something. <laughs> the wild woman wing bat. <laughs> <laughs> we should make a paper airplane book. We should. That's going to be our new venture. Now we got to learn how to fold them because I had to go back every single time and teach myself how to refold those things. Listen, did you guys used to make them and you would cut this, you thought like you were so cool. You would go and cut the back end and then push it up through the top so it had like the... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you're like... Watch this paper airplane trick I have. <laughs> this hack I have for you today. <laughs> oh, it's so Whoa. funny. Oh, Renee says the whirling dervish is actually a Turkish dance. <laughs> wow. I never knew that that was what I was going to learn today. Donna says the chaotic cruiser. I like it. Donna, you just know us Donna's so well. Donna's just so crafty. So crafty. Well, this has taken a minute to uh, cut. The Right now would be a great time to ask your questions. Any questions. Now, if you guys Any are new questions. here, first of all, if you're new here, a little disclaimer. Uh, it's not normally this chaotic. No, it's not. I promise. Um, we've just ran into a couple road bumps. But if you are loving what we're doing and you enjoy this fine entertainment here today, fine. Um, <laughs> you can fine. you can become a member for a dollar today. So we put a link in the chat box. Um, when you become a member, you get access to our website, like full access. So you can get on there. You can look at our master classes, our resources. You can download 20 files and keep them for yourself mm -hmm. um, and then after a week you just it rolls over into like a monthly membership so you all can sign up through that link today and just hang out with us like more if you want to i mean i, I mean think, if you want to see us more 
if you want to hang out with sometimes, us. Sometimes I'll be real honest. I don't understand why you guys want to hang out with us because sometimes <laughs> I'm like, geez, I get on my own nerves. Yeah, I, me too. I I'm can only way. imagine that I truly get on other people. So yeah, you guys uh, keep coming apologize back. Apologize for that. Yeah. Um, Angela, what's your Canva question? Ask your Canva question. We've got a moment. Yeah. We have been, I've been working in the course this morning for those of you that have purchased the course. It's, I'm, I've been working on your assignments specifically. Yes. And I think that you guys are going to really like them. I personally love assignments. We talked about this. I love a homework assignment. Like I just like to learn things and apply them. I think that's why I like crafting. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Angel said, I just don't think you can wait till June. <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay's airplane name would be five o'clock somewhere. It's five o'clock somewhere. You better believe it. That's funny. Okay, I'm trying to find my cut lines so that I can cut away the excess. I wish I could tell you guys exactly how many times I've used a true control knife and cut through my design from me doing this. Number one. Um, Renee said, did you hear they're trying to get Hulu to make a series from the court book? I did. I did. I did know it's that. It's going to be like Game of Thrones. Um, I want to know who all here, number one, has read Crescent City series, which is her Crescent Center. third series. Actually, so Throne of Glass is a beautiful series as well, but she has a Crescent City series. Oh. Who has read, first, I read, when the, I pre-ordered the new book, and at midnight when they released it, started listening to it, and I had it listened to in like three days, two days. Wow. It was. Was it like a 16 That was book? when I was walking around here not talking to anybody with my headphones yeah, in my ears. Lauren was absorbed in the book. I was, very much so. I just don't get into fantasy. I just I can't. Know, I know, I'm, I know. I'm trying to, I'm trying. Um, Angela says attach, attaching text and graphics. I can't figure out how to make an offset around both. Mm, that's a problem. On what to come again? She wants to create an offset around both text and graphics. I don't know that you can in Canva is the problem. In Canva, mm -hmm. you can add an outline to things, to but you can't create like a separate layer offset. If that makes sense. Okay, I'll say this. There are ways to do it. Yes. Is that Angela that was asking that? The Canva question, uh-huh. Angela, just message me. Email us at hi at Makers Gonna Learn. And I'll send you a little quick, a little tutorial on that. If you're trying to make something, I can help you. A little toot toot tutorial. A toot toot tutorial. Um, okay. Someone's asking about the lock lick by HTV Ron. No, I don't think it'll be competition to Cricut. The what? The lock lick. I think it's the new cutting machine from HTV Ron. Am I right? I don't know. Um, I don't think a lot, many things hold a candle to Cricut. Okay, let's, let's talk openly here with each other and let's talk about, because we have had quite a few people that are looking at other machines and if you want me to be completely honest with you guys, I feel like there are lots of people out there who have tried to compete with Cricut um, with cutting machines. I think there is one brand that has probably come the closest to actually making a dent in like crick in you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I think that's silhouette. Me too. Just I my think personal opinion. It's like cricket and then silhouette. Right. Pretty much. Um now I did see some people have purchased the Starcraft machine. The Caesar machine is not a bad machine. The Caesar um, machine is the machine. The machine great. is great. And I know that everybody has, um, like, software is expensive, uh -huh. period. Like, purchasing, like, creating software takes so much time and so much energy. Um, and I'm not saying that in the future that Caesar's software won't be there. You know what I mean? Right. I'm just saying as far as user friendliness, and beginners, if you do not have a design degree, it's just, Cricut is just very user friendly, like beginner friendly. Okay, now when you are weeding letters this thin, you cannot just come in here all willy nilly like and be jerking it off. Uh, that didn't sound <laughs> right. 
You Shut are, up. You are literally <laughs> fired. You're not fired. <laughs> I'm going to be my best. Buddy, what a day hey. we are having here in the mm. studio. I'm fired. <laughs> I'm back to sales calls. Literally, I'm back. no longer allowed to be on lives. Oh man, <laughs> everyone is sending laughing emojis. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, what I'm saying, what I was getting at, guys, is there is a chance that you might pull the vinyl up and stretch it. So, <laughs> I'm going to be chuckling all evening. Michelle said, what's in your drink? I swear to you guys, it's Celsius. Every time I bring a Celsius in here, they ask me what's in my drink, and it's just a Celsius. It's just a Celsius. It's she just, just likes Celsius. crushed ice, you guys. I just like it over crushed ice. And I don't know if you all saw that TikTok of that girl that found a dead, a fully dead In her mouse. Alani? In her Alani? <sighs> I'm First sorry. of all, that's I know, why I pour everything that's in a can in a cup. Well, listen, I drink energy. I drink a sugar-free Red Bull like every single day. I know the weight of those cans. If that, and also like I feel like you could feel it like sliding around in there. Like if there was, you know what I'm saying? Like I just feel like you could feel it. I don't know. Ugh. I don't so. even know what this word's supposed to be. I can't read it. R. Okay, I see it now. Okay. Everyone thinks that we're intoxicated. We're really not. I swear we're really I'm not. not. It's just one of those days. Now, ask me that 7 o'clock tonight. I won't be able to answer that. I will. I don't know. Probably <laughs> not. I can't. I'm not. I've been trying. I've been quit. I've been quit. I've been quit. I've been quitted. I have been quit. On this health journey. You can't, can't do that on a health journey. You guys. Did you know that there's a new forerunner out? I just seen a picture of it. No, I didn't. 2025 Forerunner. Mm. Forerunners? They're amazing cars. My dad had one that had almost 300,000 miles on it. He drove the wheels off of that sucker. He Girl, might still have it. Do you want to know, uh, <clears throat> first of all, do you want to guess how many miles my very first car had it had on it when we bought it? How many? Would you like to guess? Take a guess. Take a gander. How okay. many miles do you think my very first car had on it? Mine... Mine had like 190,000, which I had a Honda Civic. It was a 96, and I got it in like 2005 or something, 2006. When, what Mine year? was like an Accord, a two-door Accord. Okay. Mine was a 99. Okay. How many miles did it have? 250. Listen, and I bet you drove that sucker another 100,000 miles. Know, do you want to know how many uh, miles I put on it? How many? Another 150 plus. And it was still running when you we, got We bought that car for $2,000. Mm -hmm. Turn around and put the ex like 150 plus thousand miles on it. Sold it for a thousand dollars still yet. Listen, if it's good, I'm telling, you, I'm telling you right now. If I could find a two door white Honda Accord Coupe five speed, because mine was a five speed, and I yes. swear I miss I miss having a five speed so bad. I don't. I would purchase it immediately, just I'll, to just to ride around with. I would. I mean, I would drive it to work. I would I, purchase it in a heartbeat. I like driving a five speed here and there but I was having kids I'll be reaching back in the back seat I gotta be I'm doing like 15 things oh no I love it I don't I don't like and then I drove like I can drive my Bronco because it's a five speed but like my little Mazda I had it was like my day-to-day -day car and it was a five speed and I just I mean I like it because I'm glad I know how to drive it but like if I had a pick five speed automatic I'm gonna pick an automatic you know mm, that's a tough one for me oh I don't know. Oh, Mark's asking about the Canva course. So he's purchased the Can Canva course, trying to use it now. Is there a user guide on the internet? Okay, you're trying to use Canva right now. We have some Canva tutorials. There's a masterclass if you're a member. We did a Canva masterclass last Thursday. It should be on the website now. Actually, I'm, I know it is, I saw it. Um, and then we have a few tutorials on just on the channel on our YouTube. If you type in like Maker's Gonna Learn Canva, we've got some tutorials we did there. 
Um, otherwise, the course isn't actually released until June. So June the 4th to be exact. Yeah, it's going to be really good. If you guys are, I don't know, do we have a link for that down here? Hold the phone, everybody. Hold it. Sadie, do you have one you can pop in the chat? Canva course. Yeah. It's our digital design for creatives. If you yeah. hear, hear us talking about that, it's our Canva course. It I told, is not called Canva. We, um, um, I don't know if it's that. But just, just drop, drop that link. link. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm trying to weed all these little things out. I'm sorry, guys. It's just so many little tiny pieces right through here. Mm-hmm. It's like getting on my nerves a little bit. Okay. It's about to be good enough. Oh, no, let me get that tea. Okay. Okay, guys. First part done. Here's the little stars. And then we're going to put this guy on here. Let's make sure that it fits over here. Burp. Oh, 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 here. And it goes over to, oh. It goes over to this. Yeah, I think oh, I meant to tell you guys while Lauren is doing that, I did a line dancing class on Friday, so I'm basically a professional country woman now. <laughs> I had so much fun. I was living my best life. I had so much fun, y'all. I was getting down. I was like, this is who I was meant to be. Did you never go to the Joe growing up? Yeah, I went to the Joe, but like no one will teach you the dances when you're at the Joe. Like you gotta be oh. cool and already know how to do it. Oh, I guess I just already knew how to do them. I mean, I will hop up in there and dance cause like I'm not shy to dance, but like I, they were, she was teaching us. So I was like, okay, I know the moves, I'm prepared. And then Lauren gave me pink cowgirl boots, which really took it up another notch. I mean. <laughs> so I was just getting, I was getting down. It was so fun. Yep. I don't have boots, but I keep borrowing Lauren's cowgirl boots, so I feel like maybe I should I feel should like I some. have enough for you to borrow. For Lauren a while. has so many pairs. I can just she can bring them to me and that's just what we do. Okay, once again trying to find where the stars are and not cut any of them off, but also cut the excess of Oh good. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's a little tiny one right there. Okay. This is the one part that is just not my favorite because you all know that I don't like to waste material. So, like, I feel like I have to try. You know what? We're just doing it across there. Okay. Good deal. Good deal, Lucille. Um. I know. I think Brooks was watching the live because he said HR is going to have to talk to us. <laughs> oh. Is he HR? Are you, who's HR here? Ask Sadie, him, are ask, you ask HR? Ask him who's HR. Lexi's head of HR, I think technically. She's the boss lady. Mm, nope, she's finance. No, her title is he head of HR. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Mm hmm Oh no, Mark sent me a question. Mark, resend the question to the if I if we respond to you and then don't respond to you again, um, just know that we did not mean to. We try to respond to you guys like I try to respond right away when y'all send questions because if I don't, I'll be like putting it off and then don't get to it on accident, so mm -hmm. resend it. If you guys ever have questions, you can send them to hi at makersgonnalearn.com, and that goes straight to our customer service. And if it's a craft-related question that maybe they don't know as much about, we can answer it directly. Like, it's usually me, Lauren, Sadie, Tanner, Courtney. One of us will answer it, Mary Catherine, sometimes. So, <clears throat> Okay. Cutting off the last little bit. We're going to weed this out. Beautiful. And then we're gonna start layering, guys. Are you about ready to layer? Yes. Christine says, Cotton Eye Joe, love that dance. Listen, we got a whole entire bar in Knoxville. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's called Cotton Eye Joe. The Joe for short. The Joe for short. Yeah. So it's a place for Wednesday nights tween, family 20 nights. year olds. Or Thursday nights. One of the two is like family, they do family uh, line dancing nights. Oh. Where they do teach you. Oh. I used to go. 
Well, heck far. The more you know. I, I mean, I say that. They did back in the day. I don't know if they still do. Right, right. I would assume. Okay. The tea with Miss P. I have learned so much in this live today and little about crafting. <laughs> well. Well, listen. Some days you learn crafting. Some days you learn about lawn dancing. Stuff. Other stuff. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, because this looks wild and crazy, so it's hard for me to remember exactly what it looks like. So I like to go back to design space and kind of get an idea where everything is supposed to be. So like I know that these two dot, I know that the dots are the top and bottom of the of the moon. So we're going to lay this down first and then we'll come back in with this and then fill in the stars, okay? Easy peasy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And so, I feel like waiting to put the frame on is really helpful too. Yes. Especially if you start getting close to the edges and Because like the that. thing is is you can put this frame in here and double check where you want it to go, which is a good rule of thumb. So I actually want it to be more down here. And let's bring in our sister frame and see where exactly we want it. I think right there will be good. Beautiful. Okay. Gorgeous. It's still not right. This would also be something good for you to keep one and like give your best friend the second oh, one. Oh, friendship canvases. Yeah. I love it. So we're doing this on a heat setting of two, and we're just coming in and adding our HTV. I love it. I love it. Now, if you guys have ever tried to stick adhesive vinyl to a canvas like this, not as much luck. Not as much luck. HTV does so well on canvases. I feel like adhesive vinyl is just so hard. You can. You can. You can stick down adhesive vinyl to canvas, but it's just not as well adhered. So HTV is always a safe bet. Does anyone have any questions? I know we've been kind of all over the place, but at the same time, I think you guys have enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, still pretty yeah. solid tutorial. Is it trying to come up? Yep. I don't think I put enough heat up here at the top. Lindsay, the sayings are from the book, A Court of Thorns and Roses. I don't know why I'm speaking in British accent. Are they British? Nope. The or book's fairies. not even read with a British accent, but for some reason I feel like it should be. Okay, so now we want to place next layer. Our next layer, which should be fit just about in here. So pretty much what you're looking for with this one is you just want to make sure that none of the pieces are touching. So for example, this one, we do, we know that this needs to go on the top and these two have to go on the outside of this star. But what you really wanna do is come back through here and make sure no other pieces are touching. And you can see I have a dot right here that is touching this little swirl guy. So I'm just gonna bring it over just a tad and maybe even up just a tad, about like that. Beautiful. So you just wanna make sure that all of these swirls are not touching each other. Now, if you want to, you need to keep this and you can lay this back down to cover all of the other HTV to make sure that it stays down and it's not touched by the iron. So now we're just gonna come through here and lay all these pieces down. All these pieces. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Sounds right, okay. So once all of that is down, we're just gonna pull this back up. Oh. Obviously I didn't get that one enough heat. Once again, just be slow pulling up your HTV to make sure everything gets stuck down really well. Beautiful. 
beautiful and gorgeous. Look at that. Love it. And I, actually, I'm really loving this because these are kind of, other than the, the rose gold that we're bringing in here, these are a little bit more manly. Like this looks more manly. And this is what Reese said back to Feyre. Oh. So Feyre said this one. Oh. Feyre said to the people who look at the stars and wish, and then Reese responded. Oh, so wait, I, is it a love story? Yes. I'm only like two chapters oh, in. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm not even two chapters in. I just started while I was cleaning my bedroom You've not this met weekend. Tamlin yet. I don't even know who you're talking about. Beautiful, I love it. I am going to be obsessed watching <laughs> this play out for Alicia. Yes, if okay. I can stay committed. You better. <laughs> Uh, Gabriel, you don't have to worry about overheating the vinyl as you layer. It's n We're not like holding heat on one spot for too long, so it's totally fine. And it's cooling down in between the layers too. So you're heating one up, it's cooling down, and then you're going to keep adding the other layers. So it's not a big deal. <clears throat> and then this one. It looks so good overhead. I love it. We're just laying where to fill in all of the spots. And then I'm also going to bring this in and just kind of use it as necessary. Like these pieces are already covered, so I'm okay there. But like when you get toward the edge, you may want to like lay this down and cover that to make sure you get everything. I know. And then we'll just come up through here. It looks so good. And I feel like in real life, this is going to look really good because it's like that reflective rose gold. Yes. And it gives it just a little bit of shimmer. Shimmer and shine. Shimmer and shine. Do you remember that kid's show, Shimmer and Shine? I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't know why I said that. Also, I just realized, I, don't, I feel like I, we talked about this before, but Ruby says toilet because of Bluey, which they're Australian and they call it the toilet. She says, I want to go to the toilet. She doesn't say potty. This is my, my baby daughter that's two. She says, I need to use the toilet. Um, she's been saying, I can't. And I'm like, you can't. You can't what? She says, I can't do it. She'll say, I can't do it. And I'm like, why, why do you say it like that? And then I heard them say it on Bluey. And I was like, that's where you're getting it from. Because we've been, like, telling her she can. She can do whatever she wants. And she should not say she can't. But they said it on Bluey, which that show is really good normally. Like, it's got really good lessons and stuff. But and there uh, we go. Yeah. <gasps> Cute. I love it. I wonder if you can capture the shimmer if you, like. Let me get it put on the frame first. Okay. So now to put it on the frame. Of course, all you're going to do is you're going to flip it upside down. Now, we had it placed there exactly where we want it, so I'm just going to flip it. And what I like to do is staple all along one side. You're going to stretch it to the other side and then staple the other side, and then I do the tops and the bottoms just so I can get a good feel for where it's going to be on the canvas. Okay, so now that I've got it on that side, I'm going to pull it this way in the middle right here. Oh no. What in the world? There we go. And then I'm gonna pull this side up to this corner probably. Pull this side down this way. Everyone's loving what they like compliment each other, like in a masculine and feminine way. I know. I didn't realize that it was male, female, but like mm -hmm. now I love it. Um, Kristen says, is it because of using the mini that you don't have to worry about doing the tack down method like you would if you're using a full heat press? Um, I don't tack my stuff down unless I'm worried about it moving and where the HTV transfer tape is sticky. I don't normally even have to worry about it. There's very few projects that I actually like tack down before I fully press it. Yeah. I feel like I did it the other day for something. Um, I was doing a puff vinyl and regular vinyl shirt the other day for, um, a friend and I feel like I had to tack down for that for some reason. 
but normally you don't even have to do that. <laughs> now, this is why it's very important to um, staple your canvas before you tack, before you um, nail it down or staple it down is because trying to stretch like that tiny portion right there, it ain't gonna work. Yeah. It's just not gonna work. So utilize that extra before cutting it off because I just like to come back in here, cut this off, see where I might need to tack it down some more. And if you can, try your best to get your staples closer to the inside. That way you have more room to cut on the outside. And then we're just going to cut this excess off like this. Beauty. And then decide where we want to, like right here, I think could use like another quick little, nope, not that quick little staple. We're gonna get another one up there. I think we could use one there. I feel like right there we could use one. And ta-da! Beautiful! Look! I love it. Gorgina! That looks so good. Gorgina Bobina. Okay, love it. Are you kidding me? Even I, after the mishap. Even after the mishap, like, you can still make it happen. Don't give up. This is Lauren's message to the world. Don't, never give up. Never give up. Never back down. Here, let me see this one. Okay, you say, Lauren, gonna recite. <clears throat> okay, you be, what's her name? Sarah. What's Sarah, my name? Sarah, darling. Wait, what's my name? Resand. Resand? Well, they call him Reese. Reese. Okay. But Resand. Okay, I'm, I'm ready. To the people who look at the stars and wish, to the stars? <laughs> <laughs> I got my car. To the stars that listen and the dreams that are answered. <laughs> I was trying to have British and man, but I only can do one at a time, okay? I'm not that talented. Oh, oh goodness. Lord. Okay, well, hopefully you guys had fun. And, oh, Anne said, what mishap? Nothing happened. Nothing happened. That's right. Nothing happened. Everything's fine. Um, hopefully you guys learned some stuff. If anything, you learned not, what not to do, like not to knock your can of stain over. Mm -hmm. um, but there was a lot of good little tips in this. Like we learned about layering HTV. We mm -hmm. learned about staining a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and the reverse canvas hack, which is amazing. I love it. Yeah, very Somebody fun. said when you put them together, it kind of looks like a bikini top. I can kind of see that. <laughs> yeah, bikini top. That's what it looks like. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, day. All right. Well, we'll be back tomorrow. We're going to be um, going over uh, the new Cricut materials. materials. So if you guys are, want to see that, make sure you subscribe. Mm -hmm. So like every time that we go live, it'll just send you a notification, which is really nice because you'd be forgetting. You know what I'm saying? So uh, make sure to subscribe if you're new and you want to become a member. I saw someone asking if they could purchase individual files, and we don't do that, but we do have our dollar deal, which yep. is $1, and you're going to get 20 either cut files or fonts or a mixture of both to keep forever. So if you get on our website and you see some that you want, you can do it that way, and then it just carries over after seven days into a monthly membership. Yep. So you get access to our website. You can look through our resources, our master classes, like whatever for a week. And then you're probably going to fall in love and you're going to become a monthly member. I mean, yeah. You just can't beat it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Well, we'll see y'all tomorrow, 1.30 Eastern Standard. Sounds great. Bye, Bye. guys.